Hello Rutbags, it's Jade, welcome to a grounded hot and hazy update. I am going to give you the complete guide to the picnic table. How to unlock the milk molar scanner, how to get two mega milks, how to get two normal molars, as well as even more items including scabs and the ability to get salt globlets. It's all here in this guide, do leave a like, make sure you're subscribed. We're doing it in a walkthrough style today, so enjoy the video with the timestamps if you want to skip any of the stuff that you may have already come across. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you how to get up to the picnic table, super easy too. You will need some splat burst, in fact you're going to need at least one, a tier 2 shovel and a tier 2 hammer to complete all of the picnic table. Oh, and one tier 2 knife as well. Let's go! So obviously head over to the picnic table and head over to this spade that is sticking out the ground. The best bet is to home in on the pink set tape. Don't know there's a scab under there, just in case. It's been there for ages old time. And then through this little gap just about here. It should be pretty much safe from any haze. And we're gonna run right on through down to the bottom of the rocks here. This is where you're gonna need your splat hurst. Otherwise known as splat burst. Now, can you use a hammer to break open this cracked rock? No, as you can see, nothing's really happening. It definitely needs an explosion. So one simple bomb, and away you go. And then it falls, and then you can jump on top. And that is pretty much it. Although I am going to walk you through the walking puzzle and show you all the cool stuff that you can get up in here, including how to obviously, as I said, unlock the brand new level of the Coupe de Gras. There's plenty of bubblegum later around. This is all the resources that I want to show you in this guy too. Just don't forget that. There's nothing really going on with the banana. You can see there's nothing hiding underneath. No scabs, no molars. Just don't waste your time. You may want to take advantage of all the crow feathers. And actually a pretty easy place to come to get a few at least. Swim round, you've got some juice cartons, so you shouldn't have to worry about getting some juice. If you actually take a look down, you can see there's a few other little interesting things, like a molar inside that jar, which we're going to go get in a moment. There's lots of mushrooms, so it might not be too bad a spot to set up a mushroom farm. And don't forget also as well that roly polies kind of live pretty much in this section here too. You might even see one just below us moving. Yep, there you go, just down there. Got some juice there as well, so it's not a bad spot to come for them too. And you've got food as well. Anywho, going around here this side, got black ants. Again, this is not a bad spot to come and take them down. You won't run into too many other creatures other than the bees. And we'll get ourselves some uh, cookie sandwich bits and some apple. So, back round, and we're going to go across the wooden beam here. Now, I guess you could try going on the other side. I haven't actually tried to see if you can. So you can't really use this wooden beam to get across to the other side. There's no nail to jump on. One avenue you could maybe explore though is bring in a net. And then you can go ahead and obviously use it to get up and down. But this is also the way that you might want to try aggro in the bees. If we do a little bit of cheating and use the photo mode, you might be able to just about appear inside the hole. And there is lots of honey if you do manage to get inside there. If you do get too close to them, they sometimes can aggro though. Bearing in mind I am doing this in creative mode at the moment, just to show you guys stuff. You can see the honey's actually all falling, as they're not actually inputting it enough inside. So you should find plenty of honey drops and bits and bobs down at the bottom there too. Just to show you that indeed you cannot get up this side. That's where all right, because where we're going, we don't need it. And there we go, we've got another feather. They'll drop pretty much regularly because the crow does come and land on this side. And here we've got something to do with the reading glasses. Sadly, no Easter eggs are found in the making of this video. You notice there's bubble gum on the ceiling as well. That is going to be a bit tough to get hold of, but you can jump on top of the picnic table. You can see the spoon sticking out, so you should be able to get it. If we go back to where we was, at the moment there's not much going on here. Again, no scabs, no foods, absolute zilch. So, here is the nail that you should be able to climb. 
let's kit up from this side. Up the box we go. Simply smash the button with your tier 2 hammer. And you notice this is discovery zone now, the cooler box. And then you can climb straight up it. Or you can have a little walk around here as well. But again, there's nothing going on. I do think this probably needs another little balance pass. Just to add a few bits and bobs to it in the future maybe. And so we're up on the table. Woo! Plenty of food crumbs here. Maybe some juice too. Lots of black ants again. And again, you'll find a hot dog right here that you can demolish. There of course is a scanner on this side. And this is where you'll find the ability to go ahead and use the zip line all the way down into the sandbox. You'll also find a mac and bees as well as some bandages outside. And if we actually go all the way around first before we go deeper into the maze, we've got more crumbs. Kind of would be funny if you could actually fall on top of this. In fact, we've got salt shards, apple bits and more. Another crow feather. And you notice this is a can. Is there anything inside? Can we climb inside? Is it worth it? No, absolutely nothing in here yes, I at the can. moment. Go inside as can. Other than that little uh, expression from Pete. Maybe you want to set it up as a little base. Probably would be good protection from bees. I don't know if they'd be able to get inside. So you could lure them and kill them in just one easy motion. Some more crow feathers. And right here is a brand new scab. If we can get to it, you may need to crouch. I say brand new. I think dog loaf has been there a while. They've just moved it. There you go. More food bits on the table. You might as well. You're hungry getting up here onto the picnic table. And you can see we've got the Minotaur maze now. So, with these dice, did you know you can knock them over? You probably will need at least a two-handed sword or a decent hammer like a mallet or the spider one. And if you look around, you've got plenty of dice. So you can mess around with these all you want. But it's inside where you want to go now. So you go to the right hand side, there's not much going on other than these figurines. And you can see nothing happens when you try actually hitting them. Straight through the central one here. You can see there's some bubble gum. And go all the way around this way. More guys. More feathers. And another room on this side. This main chamber is where you need to actually hit this. And I do believe you're going to need to roll 20. And there you go. Now, because I'm in creative mode, it's not popped up, but that should give you level two all mutations. You can see, actually, it's, it has unlocked one of them. And there you go. It's just activated. Took a while there, but we did it. Let's go and find this chest, and I'll show you where the key is. So this has got the burgle chip, which unlocks the salt glob, as well as the milk molar scanner, and another sign set. Now I could insert how to pick up the key from the sewer pipe down below, but I figure it's important to show you how I did it in the walkthrough and pretty much show you that you need to pay attention when you're actually coming off of the picnic bench. If I've done it straight away, you may have just decided to jump off in a different direction if you've got a dandelion leaf, or you may have even gone to the sandbox using the zip wire, but don't do that. You need to head over to this cooler. There of course is a milk molar. So try and aim at the other end of the fork so you don't take any full damage. And there we go. And now we can get out of here, not before getting some more bubble gum, chewing gum. If you go up this one, you'll be able to hopefully just about reach. If you press hit and then jump, you should be able to make it upwards. Just like that. But you are going to have to jump down to get the rest of the pieces. Geronimo! And that's how you can save yourself a nice broken leg or two. So if we go down underneath the table now, let's go and work out to get the other molar. And there we go. I'm going to show you another gold one to get and then we'll go and get the key. Once you've got that, or before, you should notice a footstep towards the far side of the bench just underneath where the beehive is. And there is another footprint which has got some pink bubblegum inside it. You need to break open this pink bubblegum. This is interesting that they decided to hide this Mega Milk underneath it. But yeah, there you go. Bubblegum and Mega Milk all in one. It's quite a big slope that leads down to the pool water. You have got a flat 
trail here as well. And again, there's not much going on around this area, so I do think they'll probably have another pass, adding more creatures and enemies and stuff. There are also some red mushrooms that might be worth going to get hold of. Again, this white could be potentially a good spot for a mushroom farm. Anywho, deep dive down, see the water, and this is where you're going to need a tier 2 blade, the exposed pipe. So, I'm going to show you how to get in here, and hopefully we're going to do it without any breathing apparatus. Make sure you've got your knife equipped, and let's go. So this one's okay. You can go up the other end, but you see it's pretty much blocked already. That might open up in the future, as there are some more that are connected all the way through. And then you want to go through this way, down here. There's some little slime stalks you can maybe get hold of. And then we're simply just going to go and hack away at the soggy route. You can clearly see this is tier 2. So there we go, broke through. And we've got the Mintor Maze Key. You won't even need diving gear. There you go, job done. So you can go ahead and actually build inside this base too, which is pretty cool. It doesn't really connect or sort of latch on to anything, but I'm sure if you spent a bit of time, you might get it to do just about the right kind of height and width and stuff. And who knows, maybe you can make it into a bigger base. And there we go, that's the Minotaur Key with a golden molar. and the picnic burgle chip and since you're here you may as well use it at least once yeah! <laughs> we this guide is nearly finished let's go and cash in our burgle chip and see what it gives us hey, it's good to see you again with the processing speed is there anything else so there we go we've unlocked the picnic chip unlocks and this unlocks the milk molar scanner for 5,000 science points the most important thing of all, the salt glob. This is how you can now apply salt to your weapons. Hope that's been useful. If it has, leave a like. Check out the rest of the grounded content and I'll see you rat bags later.